sucker. Clean off my sunglasses. Clean it off my sunglasses. Totally took advantage of me with my pants down. Good morning, folks. Welcome to another episode of the Tin Horse Mighty YouTube channel. I am on Little Grassy Lake. It's been years since I've been over here. Decided to mix it up, come over here and check out this lake. We got storms coming this afternoon, so time is limited. It's about 10.30, almost 11 o'clock. Getting the typical late start and very little wind. Very little wind, overcast conditions. Air temp's like a balmy 80, 182 degrees. Got a lot of humidity, so it's just kind of sticky out here. I'll drop this boat in. We're gonna go out there and do some exploration. First thing I'm noticing about this lake, and I haven't been here in a long time, there's a lot more lily pads than I remember. Lily pads kind of everywhere. Got a lot of this kind of pencil reed type grass. That's shoreline grass, and the water visibility is pretty clear. I mean, it's probably seven or eight foot visibility. You can see down really deep off the boat ramp, a lot of grass down deep that I'm seeing just from the little bit of observation that I've done. So that tells me these fish are probably gonna be out a little bit deeper. I've got a little bit of wind blowing in here by the levee. So I'm gonna try to run a moving bait pattern for a little bit. I might pick up a pop bar, maybe a swim jig and see if I can generate some bites. If not, I'm gonna start looking out deep, make some adjustments. some hard stuff on there it's like a road bed Carolina rig a little baby brush hog yeah it's gotten tough not much of a fish Road bed. Put that little beaver in there and thumpity thumpity. All right, folks, you're getting bigger. Just working my way around this lake. I mean, it's it's kind of slow out here. Um, started fishing a little bit deeper. There's a road bed right here, brush pile, and a bunch of crappie in that brush pile. And I flipped this little beaver in there and uh, snatched me one. So that's good. It's a good sign. This water is so clear. This fish could be out in 20 plus foot of water. So we got a little bit more time to fish. Hopefully, pivot and put a few more in the boat. There we go. Shake your head. All right. Pop to those one of them suckers. Just fishing this kind of rocky little swing right here scattered timber and i will take that a little shaky head just on a little centipede gets tough man a little shaky head and usually save the day that fish was right on the bank well not really right on the bank he was probably in about 10 foot of water but this is a pretty steep drop right here man the storms are coming i can hear thunder in the background hopefully i can snatch a couple more down here there he is. He's right on that lay down. On that piece of wood. Little guy. Some bait right here, and that fish came right off that log right there, that stump. Right in the shade of it. Got a real rocky bank. I'm getting, getting a few bites, you know. They're not huge fish, but I'm getting a little bit of feedback. I'm just kind of starting to focus on a little bit of this shade right here. I'm starting to see some small minnows, you know, it's like some fathead minnows swimming around this grass 
running out of time, but it is what it is, man. You can see what's getting ready to brew. It's getting dark over there. I probably got about another, I don't know, 30 minutes, maybe, if I'm lucky. All right, folks, had to take a little rain break. Not so much a rain break, but if you can see over there, those nasty clouds, there's some lightning and thunder going on. So put the boat back up on the trailer. Hear that? That's thunder. I used to do it when I was younger, but I don't mess around with lightning anymore. I'm hearing thunder pretty close. So I'm going to get back to the boat ramp for sure. But we got the boat on the trailer. Just going to kind of hang out, see what happens. Probably sit in the parking lot for, I don't know, an hour eat some lunch and I'm gonna try to get back out there just started getting a few bites just started getting a few bites a lot of times you just got to move around and look at different areas of the lake before you figure out an area where the fish are biting and it may be because of this front's moving through you know some of those fish started biting um, so far not catching anything big but we are like I said getting a few bites having to finesse a little bit water temps like 86 degrees and it's nine foot of visibility which is really clear I'd probably catch a lot more fish if I had eight pound test but the lightest line I have is 12, but I think I can get some more bites throwing that shaky head. Um, bounce around and just, you know, just kind of, just explore, you know. I'm not going to win a tournament catching these fish that I'm catching, but sometimes it's just, man, it's just fun to get out here and just go fishing and not worry about what you catch, what size of fish you catch. Just have fun, and that's really what fishing is all about. Back when I first started fishing, it didn't matter what you caught. You just wanted to catch some fish. It didn't matter if it's catfish, bluegill, crappie, bass, whatever. It's just fun to get your line tight. And that's kind of what we're doing today. We're just out here playing around, having a good time. Low stress situation, other than the lightning. We don't like the lightning. I'm gonna get back in the truck and uh, we'll see you back out on the water. All right, looks like most of the rain has passed. We're gonna dump the boat in and get back out there and see what happens. There's still a little bit of thunder, but it's way to the north. So I'm not too concerned about it. I'm not seeing any lightning. Um, we're gonna put this boat back in the water, see if we catch a fish. All right, doing a little idling around. Shallow bite did not pay off. Got a couple bites, a lot of bluegill up shallow. You know, I live scoped a couple of fish. They followed my bait down, but they just wouldn't take it. The water's about nine to 10 foot visibility down by the dam. And we got a thermocline here. You can see this thermocline. It's probably like 22 feet. You can see it on the side scan here. A nice little drop. So we're just idling around. We're gonna look at some of these points and see if we can find some structure out deep, some brush or something. fish no giants but so what it's fun I'm definitely on this jig there he is jig fish Ate it. little pig jig they're shallow it's a green pumpkin orange GPO I just reeled my bait right through that mess. Little bites. Little swim bait. Just watch it go by. There he is. It's all those fish swimming around there on live scope. Got a little swim bait out there. Got those little group of bass. Alright. Tech or I can't remember. It might be a rage swimmer. Hold on, Ted. All right, I'm getting a few bites on this bluffy kind of stuff. If you saw the last video I did where I was fishing jigs on bluffs, that's kind of what we're doing here. It's got sort of a bluff type bank. The boat's in 22, 23 foot, and we're just working 
down this stretch just kind of throwing up there in like six and working it down to about 2022 there's a thermocline in 2022 so i'm trying to stay above that see right here this is what we're looking at I'm keeping the boat right in this range so we got 20 out there this is actually a little bit off but the boat right now is in 21 so these maps aren't too accurate but i'm just kind of going down this bank and there's a good little drop right here i'll show you with the live scope a lot of fish suspended out here i've seen a lot of this going on and i can't really get them to bite so I'm kind of giving up i mean look at that that's something i could probably throw my swim bait in i might do that <laughs> but you can see this little slow subtle drop i'm just casting up in you know 10 12 just working it down here's some fish right there it's kind of where we've been catching our fish There he is. Uh, pop that jig up off the bottom because I had a little mush bite. And as soon as that thing set back down, a little sucker came over and grabbed it. Man, we're getting some bites. It's kind of fun. You know, I'm not catching bigs, but so what? Definitely on this jig. This is a half ounce pig jig by Cumberland Pearl Lures. GPO is the color. It's got some green pumpkin, some orange, got a little speed crawl on there. And uh, man, I'm just working down this rock. Got a little bit of wind blowing in on this bank. Having fun, you know? Getting bites, line is tight. Middle of the day, I, I really think these fish are probably night feeders. I think if uh, you were to come out here, you know, the last hour of darkness and fish the first couple hours of light with this clear water, I'd say that's probably your best bet. And then on into the evening and through the night. They're probably periods where they feed through the night. You know, a lot of times in the summer, the fish get kind of nocturnal, feed at night anyway. And when you add real clear water, just makes them that much more willing to feed at night. right there coming through there turned around and cast it back out there caught his one it's like the average size fish in this lake i know there's bigger ones in here but like i said earlier i think they just feed early in the morning or late at night Show you where I caught that fish off of, guys. Look down there, there's a big stump. Big stump or rock or something. It's got a ton of fish just piled up on it. Just made a cast in between. Actually, my jig landed right there. As soon as I hit the bottom, this little sucker grabbed it. So, there's more up there. There you go. Fish off that piece of wood. On that beaver. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Big water shad bait. Jeez, another little guy. Oh, finally caught a little better fish. 
Jeez. It's been tough, man. It's hard to find big fish. That's a nice, I mean, it ain't no stud, but it's chunky. It's healthy. Right here, dark. Hmm. It's throwing that old worm. the eyeball. Definitely full of fish. I'm trying to get into some a little bit better ones right here, dark. That is going to wrap it up. A little grassy. I don't know, man. I think it's a nighttime lake or a springtime lake. I'm definitely not doing something right as far as catching the bigger fish. Caught a lot of fish. Had fun. Didn't get struck by lightning. Give me a thumbs up if you appreciate the content. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I think this is a night lake. I mean, I don't know. I'm missing something, I guess. I'm sure some of the local guys are like, eh, you're doing everything wrong. But, you know, summertime... It can be pretty tough. A lot of these fish do feed at night and early, early, early in the morning. So I think that's kind of what's going on. I saw a lot of bait. This lake's got a ton of bait, ton of small fish in it. You know, you just think if you catch 20, 25 fish, you'd catch one. It was a three pounder, but it didn't happen today. Um, that's all I got for you. Till next time. A little worm. Worms getting bites and uh, a jig. So I think if you come out here, you can throw a worm and a jig around and get some bites. Have a fun day. Till next time.